Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're looking at Water Extremes, the new L1 mission from NASA and NOAA, and an excellent study confirming the solar storm impact on aviation and atmospheric turbulence. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, boiling and rolling and shifting, but nothing in the way of release, flare, explosion, or snap. Solar flaring is very low, eruptive activity is low. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are expected to be calm to only minorly disturbed in the coming days. It's a nice break in space weather here and the sunspots aren't exactly developing quickly either. Would take a good bit of organization and growth here for bigger flares to occur. So let's go to the water. Last few decades of drought versus moisture are plotted with major events as bigger bubbles. Red is drought, blue is pluvial both getting more extreme with greater frequency over time. Folks, the newest space weather satellite is ready to launch at the end of summer. It will sit at L1 and is a dual coronagraph and solar wind monitor. It will be replacing ACE and complementing Discover while also delivering the second new coronagraph out there to replace SOHO. It will arrive at L1 early next year and begin operations aimed to help the global space weather response, and that includes the aviation sector. We have seen these studies before, but it's great to get confirmation, and frankly, it has been a few years. Not only does this adequately link solar storms to turbulence and aviation incidents, just has been done for GPS and system failures on planes and in air traffic control, it also tells us that as Earth's magnetic field continues weakening in the ongoing pole shift, we will see more turbulence, which is already being seen, and they try to blame that on climate stuff. Nope. It's the ongoing disaster cycle, the vulnerability of our planet increasing, and the increasing impact of the sun. Folks, later today our e-magazine special issue will release the mid-June solar flares and the impact they had on our planet. Every month there is a special issue and a monthly science rundown. When you sign up at the link below, you get access to every past issue immediately. That link is below. And folks, we're only going to run this sale another day or so. Let's get through these books and merchandise and make room for the new book, The Masterpiece, coming this month. Folks, this is absolutely the last chance to get the Suspicious Observer's gear as well before it's all space weather news in the ranch. Help us make some room on those shelves. Link is below, both to the store and the e-magazine. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.